Are you the best messenger to carry this forward? Trump DeSantis ticket? in 2024? Well, I get along with them. I a lot of people I think have just assumed that another Trump versus Biden matchup for 2024 is inevitable, but a new poll out throws a bit of a wrench into that idea while also introducing another question that I have a little issue with the way it's framed, but it does raise a very interesting discussion and that'll get to what I think is the winning message for 2024. But before I get there, to set this up properly, I want to show you a couple of clips. This is President Joe Biden and Donald Trump being a little sensitive to the idea that they may not be the right leaders for their respective parties. Are you the best messenger to carry this forward when Democrats, many of them, many progressives, want you to do more? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm the president of the United States of America. That makes me the best messenger. I'm the only president they got. Could you envision a world, sir, uh, where there is a Trump DeSantis ticket in 2024? Well, I get along with him. I was very responsible for his success because I endorsed him and he went up like a rocket ship, just yes. like I endorsed Mary Miller the other day, who supposedly was not going to win and she won. She won. All right, so I'm going to get to this poll shortly, and then I'll get to the other question in this poll that brings up more questions about 2024 and what actually a winning message could be. But here you have these two leaders, both being a little sensitive to the idea that they may not be the right leader for the party moving forward. Biden there trying to simply get around the question saying, I'm the only president they have. And then you have uh, Donald Trump here who never actually answers the question about DeSantis while trying to take full credit for his rise. And he has been very sensitive online on his platform, Truth Social, over recent polling showing DeSantis ahead of him. This is where we get to the results in this most recent poll. So this is from Harvard Caps Harris. And this is going to show, I'm going to start with Biden, then I'll get to Trump. It's going to show that if this trend continues, and I'll have supporting data to support this, that's the whole point of supporting data, <laughs> I'll show you that if this continues, these two very likely, maybe not very likely, but at this point could potentially not be the leaders of their party moving forward. And I actually think it's almost certainly the case with one of them. And I'll tell you who I think that is uh, in a bit here. But first, here is the Biden data. So from Harvard Caps Harris, they uh, this is shared exclusively with The Hill. They found that 71% of respondents polled do not think Biden should run for a second term, compared to 29% who say he should run. Among the contingent of respondents who believe the president should not run, 45% said Biden should not make another bid because he's a bad president, while about one third of respondents said he is too old, and about one quarter said because it is time for a change. So 71% is a lot of people. And I'm going to get to some supporting data here showing you this isn't simply an outlier. And when it comes to the reasoning here, I mean, we've heard a lot of this uh, before. You can sort of almost maybe categorize in your mind who each of these uh, answers are from. Like when it comes to bad president, most of those are likely conservative voters, though I, I know for a fact a lot of people on the left would agree. And people that are just objectively seeing what is going on and Biden's inaction would agree that he is a bad president. Too old. This for me is, the, the age isn't an issue. It's how you operate. So yeah, you could say maybe he's too old in the sense that he doesn't seem as there as someone like Bernie Sanders is, even though Bernie Sanders is a bit older than Biden is. If you saw Bernie in this recent debate with uh, Lindsey Graham on Fox News, my God. I mean, <laughs> it's like the man hasn't aged in, in 20 years. His mind is, is still there. Biden simply is not the same guy he was 10 or or, you know, even five years ago in some cases. So, but that said, we've heard that reasoning before from people like even David Oxerod. So Obama's chief campaign strategist, here's a guy that, you know, knows how to win elections. He is saying that Biden's age is a liability. And this is no progressive here. So when you even have people like David Oxerod, part of the Democratic establishment, pointing to Biden as a nominee being a potential issue, then you have to, as a voter, seriously consider maybe it's time to try and rally around somebody to primary Joe Biden. And this gets to 
the other data points as well here. So from 538, this is a, uh, a piece from early in June. Americans are unusually lukewarm about a second Biden term. So understand how rare this is in terms of a first term Democratic president. We're in the first, you know, two years here and already voters, including a majority, as I'll get to a majority of Democratic voters want somebody else. This is an issue. So they go on to uh, right here. A Wall Street Journal poll conducted from March 2nd to 7th found that more than half, 52% of registered voters don't think he'll run again, while only 29% think he will, 19% were unsure. A second Biden run isn't that popular either. According to an AP NORC poll conducted from Jan 13th to 18th, 70% of Americans don't want the president to run in 2024. Even Democrats are lukewarm about the idea. A CNN SSRS poll conducted from January 10th to February 6th found that slightly more than half, 51% of registered Democrats and Democratic-leaning independents wanted a candidate other than Biden. So to already have this, and if you go on to read this piece, they say this is essentially unprecedented to have this low level of support from even their own party's voters in the first two years. This is a big deal. This is a reason to worry. And this is a reason to prep now for a robust primary challenge so that by the time, you know, the the general election rolls around, that the party and, and the media are already prepped to have somebody in replace of Joe Biden. Now, also worth noting here from this poll, I'm going to show you the differences. So this Harvard, the same poll found that the president has an overall approval rating of 38%. Compare that to March 2nd, 2021, exact same pollster. Biden had a 61% approval rating. So 38 now was 61. This is back when they were in the process of passing the American Rescue Plan. They were Democrats were also in the process of, of the second Trump impeachment. So you had Democrats at that point in the first month <laughs> Of Biden's presidency, actually, you could argue somewhat fighting for something, fighting Republicans, fighting to actually pass something. And then since then, it's been completely downhill. Biden unwilling to even fight his own party, people like Manchin, Cinema, when it comes to passing his own agenda. What do you expect voters to do? They see an incredibly weak president, not even willing to fight Republicans with your own power, when it comes to what they've just done in terms of overturning Roe v. Wade. And I've covered, again, what Biden could be doing with his own power, executive power on that. So what do you expect voters to, to think? They want someone different because they are not seeing someone that is even willing to fight Republicans. Now we get to Mr. Donald Trump, which, of course, does not fare much better. So a majority of respondents, 61%. Also say former President Trump should not run for the White House in 2024. 39% of respondents said the former president should run again. Among the respondents polled who believe Trump should not make another bid, 36% said Trump was erratic, 33% said he would divide the country, and 30% said he was responsible for Jan 6, when a mob of pro-Trump supporters ransacked the Capitol. And yes, we all know what happened. So... I wonder if there was a response for all the above, because <laughs> this is, he applies to all of them. Um, but in terms of Trump, this is the guy, I, out of these two, Biden or Trump, I don't think Trump's going to be the nominee in 2024. Biden, for me, is still a toss-up, I think, based on the way the party, the Democratic Party, normally operates, the way the media around them normally operates that it's going to be hard to challenge Biden unless Democrats are actually willing to challenge sitting power within their own party, and they are rarely ever willing to actually do that. But when it comes to Republicans, they have no problem just moving on. <laughs> so, uh, and, you know, um, uprooting what people assumed was going to happen. So, you know, we saw that with 2016. It was going to be Jeb Bush in 2016. <laughs> was not Jeb Bush. And now people think it's going to be Trump again. Is it? Is it when they can just get Trumpism with Ron DeSantis without all the overt baggage there? So we're seeing now more and more polling showing DeSantis beating Trump. And within those polls, a more recent poll, I think it was this poll, show that people that among viewers that 
watch Fox News or other conservative media, that gap is even larger in favor of DeSantis, showing where the trend is moving. So based on, you know, maybe these these uh, committee hearings or, the, you know, the hearings around Jan 6 is uh, the commission's hurting Trump. Maybe that's the reason. I think part of it as well, though, is just Trump is not on social media. I mean, he's on Truth Social, but he's kicked off Twitter. He's not really in the minds of people every day the way he was when he was president because he was on TV every day saying some ridiculous garbage. You have DeSantis now in the media constantly. Conservative voters, and, and to be fair, a lot of people, of course, moved by media, what, what the general media is telling them. And so they're seeing DeSantis a lot more. They're seeing what he's, his recent speeches are. There's, you know, He's, of course, in the public more because he's actually a, a sitting lawmaker. I think this is helping him, and Trump in the process is being hurt. And ultimately, I don't think Trump's going to be the nominee for the GOP in 2024. I think DeSantis is going to be. And I think this that should be a scary thought for Democrats. Trump is an easier person to defeat. DeSantis tougher as he's more of an unknown quantity, uh, meaning it's a lot more voters are going to be open to a DeSantis presidency. So Democrats have to actually be willing to fight with an individual that excites voters out to vote. Typical non-voters, that 40% that don't normally vote, Democrats win when they come out. How do you get them out? Don't have Joe Biden. <laughs> You've got to bring somebody else in that actually brings excitement, brings out young voters especially. Joe Biden, with his complete failure, especially when it comes to issues affecting young people, is not going to do that. Now, this is where we get to this other aspect of this poll that I find interesting, but also slightly wrong in terms of how the question was asked. But let me just get to it first. A majority of those polls said they would consider a moderate independent candidate should Biden and Trump square off against each other in 2024, including majorities of both Republicans and Democrats polled. 60% said they would consider a moderate independent candidate for president if Biden and Trump ended up running against each other in the next cycle, compared to 40% who said they would not consider it. All right, and just quickly here, broken down by party, 53% of Republicans polled and 64% of Democrats said they would consider a moderate independent candidate. So more Democratic voters open to the idea of an independent candidate than uh, the GOP, but still, both of them are uh, majorities here. Now, this is the issue with the question. Moderate? What is a moderate independent candidate? Like this, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to try not to, sp to spend 10 minutes on this alone, but quickly here. This is the issue with the way the mainstream press, with the way corporate media frames this topic. That, oh, moderate must be in the middle. You have the extreme Joe Biden and the extreme Donald Trump, moderate somewhere in the middle. Is it? So I'm fine with the term moderate if we actually all agree what moderate means. Moderate would be where the majority of the country is. That would be a moderate position. Oh, the majority thinks this? Well, here's a candidate that supports the majority. They're a moderate. I'll show you right now what moderate actually means. Most Americans support raising the minimum wage. This is a moderate position. 70% of Americans support Medicare for all. This is a moderate position. Majority of Americans favor wealth tax on the very rich. Another moderate position. Two-thirds of Americans think government should do more on climate. Another moderate position. 57% of voters say U.S. political system works only for insiders with money and power. Another moderate position, which goes into this next policy position, with a poll showing Americans favor an overhaul of campaign financing. These are all moderate positions, and they are all to the left of both Trump and Joe Biden. If you, ultimately, if Democrats want a winning message and a winning candidate for 2024 to be able to defeat Ron DeSantis, they need someone who has these positions and has a history of fighting for them, somebody who can be trusted and somebody who honestly is a good politician. You need that in a package. Biden clearly is not that. Biden was simply the guy to get 
rid of Trump. People wanted Democratic voters and those who were who didn't vote but were done with Trump. They wanted somebody who was a little familiar. That's what Biden was, a, a, f- a familiar, safe choice to get out Donald Trump. He accomplished that goal. It's time for him to move on. Democrats right now going to the midterms need to be thinking about the next few years. Who are they going to put up against Biden? They simply cannot sit back and allow this election to be won by Ron DeSantis and the GOP. They have to take this conversation seriously, look at the results, look at the data, look at what is actually popular, and understand they need an actual fighter for 2024.